I'll be showing 11 new features in Excel for the web. The online version of Excel is adding features at a rapid clip, and this will get you up to date on the latest. So let's get started. The first new feature is Show Changes. This lets you see exactly what's happening in your Excel workbook if people are collaborating. So I've used the Share button here, and I invited Alex and Ella, and I already sent that link out. And you can see that they're right here in this workbook, and they've been editing and doing stuff. Now what I want to do is see what's been happening. So if I go to the review menu here, I'm going to click this new show changes button. Over on the right, you can see Ella and there's some changes down here by Alex. They've been doing things in my workbook so I can see exactly what they were doing. So I can see that she edited inventory and looks like she added PV. Oh, she added a new line. I can see that she added a few other things about the inventory size. And it's really easy to see what's been happening in this workbook. I can also drop the filter down and I can go by range or even by sheets. If I want to check a different sheet and seeing what the changes are, I can filter that. I can also just select a specific row or column. So let's say I want to select this range here. I can right click and do show changes. And now it just filters that to the specific column. And you can see Ella made a change at 199. Oh, and it looks like Alex made a change here to make it 259. So show changes is really handy if you have lots of people working on your Excel spreadsheet. The second new feature is one of the biggest changes to Excel for the web since it was first created, and that's adding Office Script. Office Script is the new automation language that allows you to automate boring and rote tasks in Excel. And there's this new Automate tab right here. If I click on this, you're going to see a few things. You're going to see Record Actions, which is super handy. I can record a script and it'll record my actions. There's also some starter scripts around create, sort, and format and generating a sample sales summary. And I'm going to click on record actions. This opens up the pane on the right hand side. And now it says, hey, start doing your edits and we're going to record this. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these right here. And I'm going to go and I'm going to turn on a filter. So we'll go here and make a filter. And now you can see toggle auto filter on. You can see that on the right here. Now I'm going to create a formula. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to do my favorite shortcut alt equals and then enter. So I've made the auto sum of the inventory. And again, now you can see it logged it over here. And then lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this in green and then I'm going to underline it with the two lines. And you can see set the background color and then apply the border. So it recorded all these things and now I'll click stop. Now this has saved this as my script. I'll name it my demo script. Now to try this out, I'm going to reset my spreadsheet. So I will get rid of all the things I just added. So I've reset my spreadsheet. Now I'll go over here and I'll click run. Okay, it just ran the script. It added the filters. It added the auto sum. It made it green and even added the little underline right there. So I did a very simple version right here. But you can imagine in the same way that you can do all sorts of great macros with the Excel desktop, you can start doing those types of things with Office Script on the Automate tab in Excel for the web. Now one last thing, if you want to see the actual code, I can go in here, click Edit. And here is the code that Office Script generated. So obviously I can go in here and really go to town and edit and update. But we're not going to go into great details into this video. This just gives you a basic starting point. The third new feature is the popular text to columns in Excel desktop is now in the web version. So I have a set of names here. This is a common case for text to columns. I want to split apart this data with the delimiter. Now if I go to the data tab here, you're going to see text to columns. If I choose this, it automatically finds that I'm looking for a space. Okay, it's going to split out my fake names here. And I just hit apply. And there it just splits it out with a single click. And so in the text to columns, there's lots of different delimiters that are supported tab, semicolon, comma, you can define your own custom ones. So it's very similar to the desktop version. The fourth new feature is adding the custom palette for your Excel fills, which is again, similar to desktop. So I've got a bunch of purple here and maybe I want to change that color. If I drop the fill bucket, I can go down to more colors. Now there's a whole host of custom colors. I can add the hex color. I can scan the rainbow here. Now maybe I want to make it more Excel green and pick just the perfect shade and I hit OK. So now you have more options for your colors. The fifth new feature is improvements to pivot tables in Excel for the web. So I've got my table here. I'll select what I want for my pivot table. Go to the insert menu and I'm going to choose pivot table right here. Now on the right hand side, you're going to see this pivot table column. 
The first thing is I now have recommended pivot tables. So there's a bunch of great options here and I can choose to insert whatever I want. Maybe I wanted this one inventory value on a new sheet. I just choose new sheet here and it pops in that pivot table. And now I can drag these items and do all the things that I normally do with the pivot table. So those are the recommended choices in pivot tables. That's new. Let's go back to the original sheet. Now, if I didn't choose a recommended pivot table, maybe I want to build my own and I'm going to insert this onto a new sheet and I'll add a few things here really quick to make my pivot table. So I've built my little pivot table showing the different instruments and designers and the total quantity in stock. One of the new choices is the styles for pivot tables. So if I click on pivot table here, you're going to see pivot table styles. So I can drop this down. Now, maybe I want something that's a little more gold or maybe I want it with the dark blue and black. So you have more options to choose your favorite styles and I'll choose this one here. Now, what also I can do is there's this new settings button. So if I click on the settings under the pivot table menu, you have these options that pop up. So for example, maybe I want to have the subtotals right here on the bottom. So I click on bottom and you'll see those move to the bottom or I can put them back on the top or I could not show them. I could also separate columns. So I click here and it separates the columns. So it gives you some nice options to customize your pivot table in just the way that works best for you. And then lastly, I'll close this. If you right click in the pivot table, you have some options here. And these are a lot of new ones around showing values and summarizing. And we've added some more options to let you customize the pivot table with a right click in a very similar way that you do with desktop. The sixth new feature are new keyboard shortcuts in Excel for the web. So one is doing the control arrow up and down and right and left. So if I do control down arrow, I go to the end of the cells. If I go control right arrow, it takes me to the end of the row. You can see right there. Control up arrow takes me back to here. And then control left, I can go back. Another one is alt page down and page up to go right and left on your screens. So if I do alt page down, I move to the right, alt page down. You can see it's shifting my page here. If I do alt page up, I go back the other direction, alt page up. And if you want all of the keyboard shortcuts in Excel for the web, go to the help menu here and there's a keyboard shortcuts. I click this and there are a ton of keyboard shortcuts. We are always adding new ones like you saw a couple here, but there'll be more and more coming as well. The seventh new feature are table improvements. So I have a set of data here. I'm going to select all this like that, go to format as table and I'll choose one right here. It's going to ask me if my table has headers and it does. I'll hit OK. Now, once it's into a table, I can go to table design and you'll see table styles. I can drop this down and now I've got all sorts of options in here. You know, maybe I want to choose a gold one or a gray one, maybe a nice uh, blue and black formula like this. Now I can go and also choose total row. This is a new option that's just been added. If I check that box, You'll see at the bottom right here, it adds total and does that subtotal. Again, very similar to Excel for the desktop. The eighth new feature is drawing and border additions in Excel for the web. So similar to desktop, now I can go here on the borders drop down, drop this, and I can see draw border, draw border grid, and erase border. So if I got to draw a border, I can go and just draw a border around some very specific cells like you see here. The other one is draw the grid. So I drop this down and draw border grid. Now I can actually draw a grid around everything if I want. So you can see me drawing that grid and I can go and erase these things. So if I go here, erase border, now I can go and erase the border. The ninth new feature is printing improvements. I have a sheet here and I'm going to print out some of it. Let's say I'm going to select the parts that I want right here. I'll go to page layout and now there's a print area. If I drop this down, I can set this as the print area. I can also do things like set page breaks if I wanted. I could drop here, insert page breaks, or remove page breaks. I won't do that in this case, but you could do that as well. Now I'm going to go to page setup. Now what you see is it only has the set of cells that I selected and set as that print area. There's also some options here about scaling and fitting sheets to page or dropping down here an active sheet versus workbook or just the current selection. But you can see there's been a lot of updates and improvements with printing Excel sheets. The 10th new feature are additions of cell styles similar to desktop. So I have a set of cells here. Maybe I want to select some. I can go to styles and I have a whole bunch of options. I can do titles and headings. I can add these different colors of text, you know, good, neutral, bad. If I select this, it applies that style. So many options, just like you have in desktop now for the web. 
Even down here, I can switch to currency and other types of styles percent. The 11th and final new feature is adding the mini toolbar to Excel for the web. So I'm gonna select some cells here. If I right click, now I have the same mini toolbar right here. So that's the quick access. You know, if I wanna change the font or if I wanna maybe make that into a percent or change the font style, all the things that you can do with the mini toolbar and desktop, you can now do in the web. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest videos I'll be releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell to keep notified for all the latest posts.